the cloud gaming services are evolving every year and every year I compare every cloud gaming service to let you know which one is the best for you. Last year's winner was the Xbox Game Pass and it was the best value for your money. Let's compare them this year and see if things have changed. So I'll be comparing the Xbox Game Pass from Microsoft, Boostroid Cloud Gaming Services from Boostroid, GeForce Now from Nvidia, and lastly Amazon Luna from Amazon. And just a disclaimer, I'll be excluding all the Chinese services from this video. Because the servers are far away, you'll get a latency lag for about 200 milliseconds, which makes the game quite unplayable, especially FPS games. And the way we're doing this, we're comparing these cloud gaming services in five different categories. Each category will give you two points, and then you will get a score out of 10 at the end of the video. So the first category we'll be comparing is ease of use. This will be counting how long it takes you to launch the app and to get into the game. The scores will be up there the whole time, the quickest app will get the highest points and the slowest app will get the lowest points. Alright, so as you can see here we have a split screen with all the apps running at the same time, we're using a smartwatch as a timer, so this way we will determine which app gets to the game the fastest one. The video will be sped up so we're not gonna have to sit the whole time, the whole loading time. So as you can see here we have uh, Amazon Luna finishing first and then we have the Xbox Game Pass and then Nvidia GeForce Now and then we have Boosteroid. And there we have it, the first round is over. Amazon Luna has won this round with two points. The Xbox Game Pass came second with 1.5 points. And then GeForce Now has scored one point. And at last we have Boostroid. It's not so bad, but it did score last, so we'll give it 0.5 points. And second category we have is compatibility. How many platforms does the gaming service run on? So first we start with the Xbox Game Pass, which runs on Android iOS on the browser and then we have Windows and Mac and then we have some TVs such as the Samsung TVs which are sponsored by the Xbox Game Pass. This gives the Xbox Game Pass full points for this round. Secondly we have GeForce Now which runs on Android with a native app, runs on iOS with a browser, Mac and Windows with a browser and then we have it on some TVs such as the LG TVs. GeForce Now gets full points in this round. Next we have Boostroid which comes with a native app for Android and also could run on iOS using the browser, it runs on Mac and Windows those using the browser and also runs on some TVs and Android TV so it gets full points in this round. So lastly we have Amazon Luna it does run on all the platforms but with a catch it does not have any native apps for any platform it does run based on the browsers so it runs on iOS Android Windows and Mac and some TVs which uses the browser to run the games on your platform. So because of that Amazon Luna will get 1.5 points in this round. So next category we have is streaming customizability. Could you customize the stream based on your network or is it handled by the app automatically? So first we have Amazon Luna. You can control some settings here on Amazon Luna. If you go to the settings and then you scroll here and you'll find video quality. You have only two options, 1080p and 720p and you can only play with these settings to change the stream quality. So because of that Amazon Luna gets one point in this category. And then we have the Xbox Game Pass. It does not have any settings for you to play with to customize your stream. The whole stream is controlled by the app itself automatically. So this gives it one point in this category. And then we have Boostroid, which is just like the Xbox Game Pass, does not have any control over the stream. It controls the stream by itself automatically. So this gives it one point in this category. Lastly, we have GeForce Now, which is supposed to have the most settings you can play with. If you scroll down and then you'll find something about the screen quality, then you need to put it to custom and then you can change the stream uh, in so many ways. Uh, you can change the resolution, you can change um, if the bitrate is custom or not, and then you can change the frame rates as well. This is quite neat for the app, so this gives it two points in this category. And there you have it, round three is now over and GeForce Now wins this round because it's the most customizable. Next round we have is prices, which is one of the most important categories in this video. So first let's kick off with the Xbox Game Pass. It runs at $12.99 a month for the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. This is a good price but it's not the cheapest out there. And next we have Nvidia GeForce Now. And for the priority subscription you pay $9.99 a month. It's not a bad price considering the library it has. Then we have Boostroid which is priced at €749. Euros. It is the best price cloud gaming service on this list. Lastly we have Amazon Luna which runs at $8.99 a month in the UK and also in the US which is a very good price for the gaming library they have. So in the price list the Xbox Game Pass is placed last but because of the big gaming library it has it will get one point in this category. 
Then we have GeForce Now, which, which price is very close to the Xbox Game Pass. It will get one point in this category. Then after that we have Amazon Luna, which price at $8.99. It will get 1.5 points in this category. And finally we get Boostroy, which is the cheapest one in the category and has a massive library of games, so we'll get two points in this category. And now we have one more category, which will decide the winner out of these cloud gaming services. How many games does each cloud gaming service have in its library? All these services are very stable and very good to play with, so the gaming library will decide the winner of this video. And the lowest one we have is Amazon Luna with the 100 plus games. And to be honest, it's not really that bad, but 100 plus games compared to the others is quite low. And the second lowest we have, surprisingly, is the Xbox Game Pass. According to ChatGPT Bing Search, Xbox Game Pass has only 300 plus games. I mean, this is not bad at all. These are Xbox exclusive games and some other games as well, but it does not come close to Boostroid and GeForce Now. And here comes the big boys. Boostroid has 1000 plus games in its library. And it's such a vast library with so many games. You can play even Warzone is on there, which is not on any other platform. It's quite amazing what they managed to accomplish here. And lastly, we have GeForce Now, which will blow your mind with a thousand and a hundred plus games in its library. It's such a vast library, you're gonna play for hours and you're not even gonna scratch the surface. So the clear winner of this round is GeForce Now with two points and then we have Boostroid which also gets two points because a thousand plus games is a lot of games and has exceptional games that are not on other libraries. And then we have Xbox Game Pass which will get 1.5 points because it has the Xbox exclusive games and then we have lastly Amazon Luna with 0.51 points because 100 plus games is not good enough for cloud gaming service. And there you have it, we have our winner for this year and it's GeForce Now, it scored 8 out of 10 in the cloud gaming comparison. Second, we have Boostroid, which scores 7.5, very close to GeForce Now, and it's a very solid cloud gaming service. Third, we have the Xbox Game Pass, the winner of last year, is lagging behind this year with the lower amount of games and less customizability for the streams, but it's still a solid cloud gaming service and you should definitely consider it for the Xbox exclusive game. And lastly, we have Amazon Luna, it's not a bad cloud gaming service, but it's lacking behind with the games, with 100 plus games, it does not even come close to the other services. So that's the end of the video, if you want to grab the controller I showed throughout the video, you can find the link for it in the description below, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like the channel, subscribe, and peace.